Our next option in SMS panel is developer tool. From developer tool, you can get the authentication key from the key option. When you press on the key option, it will generate authentication key. And when the authentication key is generated, you can copy it and you can put it into your software. When you put it into your software, you are you will be able to send SMS. You can send SMS through three types of routes that is transactional route, promotional route and promotional sender ID route. You can put the number of the route here. This is how our API works. Now the question is why should you use get API and post API? Before the API integration, you should know what is your actual requirement and future requirement. If you want to send SMS on single number, example invoice, signups, OTP, SMS, you should go for get API or HTTP API. If you want to send SMS on 100 plus numbers in single request or big content, less than 100 number, you should go for post API. Now, what is the difference between post API and HTTP API? SMS on more than 100 numbers in single requ request is sent in post API and sent single SMS in single request is done in HTTP API. Example of post APIs are due amount reminder to all clients, student results. Example of HTTP API is invoice, sign up SMS and OTP. There are two types of post APIs. One is same content on multiple numbers that is phone book. Another is different content on dif different numbers is custom SMS. Now what are sample codes? You can download sample codes according to your requirement, say Java, PHP, VB, C, C hash and many more. Error code option shows all the description of the errors when you send SMS through API. Push DLR. If you want to receive delivery report on your server, you can use push DLR. Push failed DLR. If you want to receive failed SMS delivery report on your server, you can use push failed DLR. This is how our developer tool works. Thank you.